Hi everybody, Lisa Beatty here, and thank you so much for having me on the show tonight. As an unofficial matchmaker, but really like an Instagram live semi-matchmaker, I'm super excited to announce the next segment. SPH is great for a lot of things. Chesed, support, guidance, but it's also great for finding a match. We can't count the number of couples that met at SPH, but here are a few ready to share their story. So when you come to SPH, we're not saying to be on the prowl, but these couples might tell you otherwise. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Ariella Falik here. And Al Falik, and we met in SPH a very long time ago. Hi, my name is Lillian Abed, now Essis. I'm Leo Essis. Okay. Hi, Soli and Dern. Hi, we guys. We are so excited uh, to be here tonight. And I guess uh, this is all about how uh, Rachel and I met at SPH. Hi, my name is Albert Gamel. And I'm Alice Gamel. Hi, I'm Adam, and this is my lovely wife, Frida Azrak. So we met in 2003 when we were volunteering for SPH Youth, and we got married in the summer of 2006. Uh, for the majority of the time between 2003 and 2006, we were just friends. And then uh, we just one day realized that we liked each other. Now what happened? I always liked Al from 2000. I always liked you too. <laughs> I'm so glad we're married. <laughs> I always liked Al from 2003, 2004, 2005. I was still in high school. And then right after I graduated high school, I always tell my high school students that right, really right after I graduated, Al called me up and said, let's get married. And we did, five months later. So we <laughs> met back on Junior Marathon in 2016. The year was 1999, very ancient. And we got married, I don't know, maybe six months later in November, Thanksgiving of 1999. So we just celebrated our 20 year anniversary. Yes. We met in 1993. We ended up getting married two years later in 1995. So we are going on our 25th year anniversary for December. So I was president of SBH Youth in 2003 and uh, we were at a kickoff event and there was lots and lots of people and Ariella caught my eye. I uh, secretly wrote my email address <laughs> and name. That's not how I remember it. <laughs> that I was registering for something. How do you remember it? So you were, you had your meeting and all those people were there. You put me outside in the, in the hallway on the round table and you said, write down everybody's email addresses. And then you wrote your email address on the yellow paper and you said, send me all these email, email addresses uh -huh. when we're done. Um, basically, Charles told me that weekend that he wanted to give me a speech, so I had a day and a half to write it. And I started freaking out. I had no idea what I was supposed to write about and I was just freaking out. So now Charles and Anthony goes, oh, I have an idea. Pulls Leo, says, Leo, meet Lillian, and he's going to help you with your speech. So I was like, okay. And then that night we stayed up all night trying to write the speech, getting to know each other, and the rest was history. <laughs> Not the typical story. Alan Esses and Carrie Sutton uh, hired me to work at SPH. I was working at Jewish Board in Edison, New Jersey. As a volunteer and coordinator? I was, I was doing clinical work, and they wanted me to be the volunteer coordinator at SPH. And lo and behold, during winter break, when I started the job, Rachel walked in to introduce me to one of the new volunteer programs. It was one of my first meetings in SPH. I was volunteering for SPARK, the SPARK committee, which is now turned into SAFE. And we used to go into the high schools and talk to the high school kids. At the time, I guess I was in college, and David was just finished with college. And I remember she was wearing a gray jacket, a gray bubble jacket. <laughs> And, uh, you know, she was. had me at hello. I'm just letting you know, <laughs> she had me at hello. Promised the board, Sammy and Nancy Sutton and everybody who interviewed me, that I wouldn't go out with any volunteers. I was a professional worker, but things changed. I had to ask permission eventually, and you know, the rest is history. Yeah, so Mark Shamula would pair people uh, to go in cars. It was groups of girls to go with the guys uh, to, to the old age home and to, and to Cropsey. Um, I was placed in Albert's car and we were visiting the sick and then by the elevator there was a guy named George. George, yeah. George was the beginning, <laughs> the beginning of George such a wonderful uh, relationship. So George was waiting for his family to come pick him up and no one was showing up um, and the hospital staff said that he could be released 
So we left all the rest of the people who were in the car at the hospital and we ended up driving George home, just the two of us. And that's when we really got to talk and know each other. Working together to plan a party for one of the occasions. And uh, at the party, I looked across the room and I said, wow, she's cute. So when he called me after we left the party, I thought he was calling to talk about Paul Halim. I realized he was calling me for a date. Yes. <laughs> and she turned me down on the first and the second phone call. But for the Hashem, we're married. And uh, we have SPH to thank. Thank you. Thank you, SPH. You'd know where without them. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Well, thank you very much for having us. Thank you. You know, it worked out on the first. Thank God it worked <laughs> out. And we had one of the first worst dates ever. Which is for another time. We will not share that. So but SBH brought us now. together.